Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and this is Free PBX 101 version 15, part 24, where we are going to be talking about general voicemail boxes. Now, a general voicemail box is used in an inbound call tree to send calls to a voicemail box, typically for a group of people. Right, so this is not basically like you have your extension and then if it rings four times and goes to voicemail, that's your extensions like personal voicemail box. But what if you wanted to have a general voicemail box or a voicemail box for sales or customer service where you can have a voicemail indicator button on multiple people's phones so that when a new voicemail is left into that voicemail box, it alerts multiple people. That is what we are going to set up today. Looking at our IVR design, and again, remember this IVR design is available for download. I will have a link in the description below. We have three different general voicemail boxes. We have the standard general voicemail box is like basically our after hours voicemail. And we might wanna have that on all of our receptionist phones. If we have three different receptionists, we wanna have a light on those phones that's separate from their own personal voicemail box that's for the general voicemail box. So whomever gets there in the morning can see, oh, there's voicemails in the general voicemail box. Let me go ahead and clear those out and make sure that those voicemails get to the right people. Then we have a separate voicemail box just for sales. And we have a voicemail box for customer service. All right, so let's go ahead and pop over into free PBX and we will create these general voicemail boxes. So you wanna to go to applications and extensions. And when you click on add extension, essentially what we're doing here is we are creating an extension for these voicemail boxes that is not going to have a physical device associated with it. It's never gonna SIP register to the PBX. So what we wanna create here is actually just a virtual extension. Now, according to our IVR, we are going to be using extension 6000 for the general voicemail box. So for user extension, we're gonna say 6000. For display name, we're gonna say general VM. And we can come over to the voicemail tab. We're gonna say yes, the voicemail password is going to be the same as the voicemail extension number. That way the first time we dial into that voicemail box, it will walk us through a wizard that will have us set up some prompts and whatnot. And then we might wanna have an email address for notifications, right? So, but we're gonna say email address will be say, reception at dundermifflin.com, right? So that they get an email address or they get an email when a voicemail is left. We're also gonna turn on email attachment so they get that WAV file attachment. They can listen to that voicemail in email rather than having to dial into the phone and listen to it. Okay, so we're just gonna do that and that's really all we have to do. We're gonna click submit and apply config. All right, now let's create two more real quickly. We're gonna say new virtual extension, 6001. Name is gonna be sales voicemail. Click on voicemail, we're gonna enable it. Voicemail password, 6001. And then we're gonna say sales at dundermifflin.com and submit. One more virtual extension, 6002. Customer service voicemail. Voicemail, yes, 6002. And we'll call this uh, customer service at dundermifflin.com and submit. And apply config one more time. Okay, so while that's doing an apply config, we already did extension 6000's voicemail box. So let's go ahead and set up a greeting for extension 6000. I'm gonna dial in with speakerphone here. Let me bring this a little bit closer. And of course, since this is extension 6000's first time that they've set up their voicemail box, it's gonna walk us through the wizard to do this. So I'm gonna go on speaker. Star 98 is the code for dialing someone else's voicemail box. Comedian mail, mailbox. 6001 pound. Password. 6001 pound. Welcome to comedian mail. First, I will guide you through a short setup process. After the tone, say your name, and then press the pound key. General voicemail box. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. Your message has been saved. After the tone, say your unavailable message, and then press the pound key. You've reached the Dunder Mifflin general voicemail box. Please leave a message, and we will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. 
Press 1 to accept this record. Your message has been saved. After the tone, say your busy message and then press the pound key. You've reached the Dunder Mifflin General Voicemail Box. Please leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this record. Your message has been saved. Please enter your new password followed by the pound key. We'll just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pound. Please re-enter your password followed by the pound key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pound. Your passwords have been changed. You have no messages. Okay, and now our voicemail box is set up. Now that we have our general voicemail box created, we need to add it to our phone here. As you can see right now, I have three buttons on this phone. I've got two line keys and then this phone's personal voicemail, right? So extension 200's voicemail would be this third key here, which we really actually don't need since we have a separate voicemail key right down here. This is the envelope. The envelope button is the voicemail for this extension. Now there are two feature codes for dialing into voicemail. Star 97 is to dial into this extension's voicemail, whatever phone you dial not star 97 from. It's essentially the same as hitting the envelope button on any individual extension. The second voicemail code is star 98. Star 98 means dial someone else's voicemail. The difference is star 97 assumes the extension that you're on is the extension you're checking, whereas star 98 will ask you which extension do you want to check voicemail on. So if I dial star 986000 send, Password. One, two, three, four, five pound. You have no messages. So that's extension 6000's voicemail box. That's not the voicemail box for extension 200. So how do I get a button on this phone then that checks that voicemail box and changes color when there is a message waiting? So to do that in free PBX, we're gonna go to settings, clearly devices, and we wanna pull out the side tray here and we're gonna adjust the model layout for this phone's model template, which happens to be our default 270 template. You might wanna have different templates for receptionists or sales or customer service so that they have their own separate set of buttons for that group of phones. In this case, we just have the one. We're gonna edit this template. We're gonna click on line keys. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the voicemail button since we're just gonna use the envelope from here on out. So I'm gonna say none. And instead of line key three being this extension's own voicemail box, we're gonna instead set it up as a BLF. Now BLF stands for busy lamp field. It's basically any function, any button function on the phone where the light on the button changes color based on what's actually happening. In this case, it's gonna be green if there are no messages waiting in the voicemail box, and it's gonna be red if there are voicemails waiting in the voicemail box. So for label, we're just gonna say Gen VM, general voicemail, and the value of that BLF key is gonna be star 98 6000, just like I dialed from the phone. Right, so that feature code, star 98, followed by the extension number 6000, which is our general voicemail box, has BLF hints associated with it, meaning that it can change the color of these buttons. Let's go ahead and click submit, and you will see that this phone should almost immediately provision. There we go, it says provisioning. And now you can see this button right here says general voicemail and it's green. Now if I click it, we can see it's dialed Password. voicemail for extension 6000. You have no messages. So we don't have any messages. Let's go ahead and leave a message for extension 6000. If you ever wanna speed dial directly into someone's voicemail box, you can do that by dialing star and then the extension number. So we're gonna say star 6000. Send. You've reached the general voicemail box for Dunder Mifflin. Please leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Test, 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 test. I am now leaving a voicemail and what we're gonna see is as soon as I'm done leaving this voicemail, the light next to general voicemail should turn red. Boom. 
All right, see that? So now we can see that there is a voicemail available in that box. And by the way, when you're leaving a voicemail, if you're ever testing this out for yourself, make sure your voicemail is longer than five seconds or else the system won't actually count it as a voicemail. It has to be five seconds or longer in duration. I've had that, uh, some people stumble over that before where they're like, test, test, and then they hang up and then that voicemail never shows up because it just wasn't long enough. Okay, so now that we have our voicemail in that voicemail box, I'm gonna hit that button. Password. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. First message. Test, 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 test. I am so now leaving a voicemail. There's the message that I recorded. Message deleted. No more messages. Goodbye. And look at the light. The light immediately went back to green because I deleted the message and now it is gone. And you can have that same button across multiple phones because I added it to a template, right? So any phone that is using that template for its button configuration will have that same general voicemail box button. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about announcements as we continue to further build out our IVR design. All right, we will see you in the next one.